What's going on everyone? Yesterday I watched Oppenheimer in IMAX, so today we will be recreating the effect from this poster. Obviously the first thing we're going to do is create a new document with a black background. I'm going to make it 27 by 40 inches, uh, which is a standard movie poster size. That's 1944 by 2880 pixels. Our first step in this process is to drop the cloud images into our document. I have linked some possible ones you can use in the description below. These are the ones I'm using right now. Feel free to use them, feel free to use more, feel free to use less, feel free to use different images, it's up to you. Then we'll just take the polygonal lasso tool to make a really rough selection of the edges of the clouds. And after that, we'll use the refine edge with the gray brush tool to roughen up those edges. I believe the equivalent of this in Photoshop is uh, using the refine edge brush tool in select and mask. Before we change the positioning and whatnot of our clouds, I'm just going to create a desaturation adjustment layer at the top of the document so I don't have to worry about the colors. And then I'll just drag and rotate the clouds around, resize them, just do everything to get it looking good. We want to make sure the lighting on all of the clouds is consistent, so I'll do that by clipping new levels adjustment layers to each cloud layer. For this one, I think I'll invert it before uh, applying the levels. There's a lot of contrast in the original poster, so that's what I'm trying to replicate here. We'll see that a lot of the uh, highlights are overexposed. To colorize the image, I'll use a trick that I really like, which is creating a gradient map adjustment layer and setting its blend mode to color. 
to make a fiery look, I'll choose a kind of golden color for the highlights, for the whites, and a more red color for the blacks, the shadows. To darken up the top of the explosion, I'll make a black rectangle and feather it out, and that has to be below the gradient map adjustment layer for the colors to be right. To turn this from just an explosion into an actual poster, I'll add a subject whom I've already cut out. Link to the photo is in the description. And I'll just place her between some of the cloud layers. I'll create a quick title using the text tool. The font is called prompt and by changing the tracking percentage you can space out the text just like it is in the original poster. Now this is the point where you can start adjusting everything, move everything around, change the colors, do everything to your heart's desire until you get a result that you like. So this is the final poster. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. You'll see that if we put it side by side with the original poster, it looks like the same poster. I mean, I can't tell the difference, right? <laughs>